by you searching for a tool to analyze, read and recover SQL Server log file transactions. In this video, let's see how to view and recover data from SQL log file using our software. We bring you the solution for you. SysTools SQL Log Analyzer Tool Now let's check out the main features of the software. The software analyzes SQL log file transactions and quickly performs SQL LDF file recovery. Read and analyze all transactions like insert, delete and update. Provides support to fetch and view records from live database. Analyzes multiple NDF file data and much more. Now let's install and run the software. In the home screen, you will find user-friendly navigation options. Click open button on top. Then you can see a window appears. Here you will find two options to add files. Online database options and offline database option. Let's choose the online database option first. Enter the server name in the first field. Then you can see the authentication option. If you have selected SQL Server authentication on your SQL Server Management Studio, then you have to enter the login credentials in the respective fields below. If you have selected Windows authentication on your SQL Server Management Studio, then you don't have to enter the login credentials. Then you have to select the desired database from the Select Database drop-down option. Now you can click OK and continue with the exporting process. You saw the steps to choose the online database option. Now let's check out the offline database option. Click on the LDF file path to choose a desired LDF file. And click open. Now you can see the LDF and MDF file paths. The software will auto detect the corresponding MDF file only if it is saved at the same location, otherwise, you have to manually add the MDF file. You can also get to know all the login or usernames by checking the box option. You can choose this option to identify who has done the transactions. Then you have to enter the server name in the first field. If you have selected SQL Server authentication on your SQL Server Management Studio, then you have to enter the login credentials here. Or, if you have Windows authentication selected on your SQL Server Management Studio, then you can leave the field blank. You can click the Fetch User button to retrieve all the users of the server, which includes the system-generated users as well. Then you can click OK to continue with the exporting process. Now you can see the scanning process, and after the scanning completes, a window appears with success message. Then click OK. Now a small window appears, and you can save the scanned file by clicking Yes. Now you can choose a desired location to save the file. Enter the file name, and click Save button. The file will be saved in STR file format. Then click OK. Now you can see the tables of chosen database on the left side. Our software also provides you with a useful option. You can click on the Load button to load any previously scanned records. You can choose this option in order to save scanning time. The file will be saved into STR file format. If you click on any one table, it will display all the records from the selected table. If you click on all, all the records from all the tables will display here together. You have to check the box option in order to export the desired table records. Select any of the listed tables in order to preview and analyze the corresponding log entries of operations performed on the database. You can click on column names to sort transactions in ascending or descending order. You can also click on other column names to sort transactions. Our software provides three unique options to filter and export the analyzed records using our software. You can export records directly to SQL Server Database. 
or you can export as SQL Server compatible scripts. Or else, you can export the log file into CSV format. You can also read and analyze all transactional operations, like update, insert and delete. Now let's click on Export button from the top navigation menu. Now you can see a window appears with advanced options. You can see the SQL Server Database Radio button, selected by default. Next is the SQL Server Compatible SQL Scripts option. Selecting this option lets you choose a location on your local machine for exporting the log files and SQL format. Then comes the CSV option. This option lets you export the log file into CSV format. Now let's select the SQL Server Database option and see how to export records. Below there is the Create Destination Database option, selected by default. This option lets you create a new destination database to export your records into. After that, enter the database credentials like server name in the first field. Then, enter a new database name in the next field. If you have selected SQL Server Authentication on your SQL Server Management Studio, then you have to enter the login credentials here. Or, if you have Windows Authentication selected on your SQL Server Management Studio, then you can leave the field blank. Below you can see the Insert, Update and Delete checkbox options. These options are here to filter the records accordingly. If you want to export only insert type transactions, then you can choose the insert checkbox option. Now let's choose the delete checkbox option in our example to recover all the deleted records from the selected database. The apply date filter checkbox option will let you filter data according to the selected date range. You can select the dates from the drop down option. After making the selections, click Export button to start exporting. After the exporting process completes, click OK. Then a small window appears and you can click Yes to save the export report in CSV format. Select a desired folder to save the file and click OK. Now you have successfully exported the records. Now let's check out the output. Since we have chosen the SQL Server Database option, open Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio on your system to see the saved database on server. Open SQL Management Studio with the user credentials and click Connect. From the Object Explorer window, select the Databases option, then right-click and click Refresh button. Now you can see the exported database here. Within the database, you can see the table data. Now if you have chosen the SQL Server Compatible Script or CSV option to save the records, then you can see the output at the selected location on your system. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Log on to the given product page for more details and purchasing the product. For any query, mail us to support at Thank you watching.